known, never known a textbook company. And I know Volsius is so much more than that to a lot of us, but I've never known a textbook company to facilitate and support something like this. So I'm really excited. Um, my colleague Heidi couldn't be with us. She's got some family in from Germany right now, but I am so excited to share this really unique opportunity that we have with the Volsius community. So um, a little bit about myself and Heidi. This is a picture of us from Actful way back in 2019. We were much younger and fresher. I think I had a cool hip hair color going on then. Um, but Heidi and I worked together for eight years. Heidi completely revolutionized our department when she brought in teaching with comprehensible input um, right before I was hired there. And um, we've been friends for 11 years and counting. She moved districts and, you know, life changes. And um, we have still kept in touch. And, and one of the things, the reasons why is where Heidi is now, she's what we call teaching on an island. She is the only French teacher in her whole district. Um, so that's isolating, right? Her district had five languages. They And she's the only one that teaches French. She's also the only person teaching with comprehensible input in her district. And for those of you that do teach with comprehensible input, you know that can be a really lonely place to be because a lot of people who are very committed and um, used to teaching with a traditional grammar sequence aren't necessarily looking to do something new that requires a lot of energy and, and all of that. So Heidi was really looking for a way to stay connected. So she and I stay connected. We'd meet up there. We'd go do stuff. Um, and then we thought, how could we grow this? Because I'm sure Heidi's not the only one. You know, I'm so fortunate because of Heidi's work at my school that I was able to, I work in a fully comprehensible input department. We have sh shared planning time. It's all great, but that's not the case for everybody. So that's how we came in our journey together. Um, we started teaching with comprehensible input department-wide in 2013. And then in 2019, we started with VOSES, um, which I was really excited to find because the curriculum we had been using before was all about long hairs on noses and pimples popping. And I just couldn't teach about pimples popping anymore. It didn't feel relevant. So VOSES answered my prayer um, for things that better tied to the AP themes. So our goals for this session, and I'm going to go quick because I know we ran over and I was a little late getting here, but I really want to make sure everybody understands what is a professional learning community. Um, it's really important to have that shared understanding of what that is and what are what what makes a, a professional learning community effective. We'll talk about why they're they're helpful and why they benefit, and then we'll share about our vision for this PLC, which did kick off last spring, um, and we are kicking off again soon. So when I think about PLCs, I think about the fact that some things just go better together. In the chat really quickly, Drop to me your favorite combination of things. Um, I'll start and mine is going to admit a guilty pleasure. And you can't tell anybody about it. So I love watching Scandal, which is a TV show. Um, Olivia Pope. I think I'm Olivia Pope. I'm not Olivia Pope. I'm very aware of that. But nothing makes watching Scandal better than drinking a glass of red wine out of the big Olivia Pope glass. What are some other combinations? And if you want to just drop them right in the chat. Um, that go together. Olive oil and fresh bread. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uvas con queso. Love it. My husband's been teasing me. My favorite breakfast this summer has been a, a green apple and um, just white cheddar cheese, peanut butter and jelly. Some things go better together. Some things are great on their own, but when we add them to something else, they get even better. And I'm going to show you that here. You know, what's awesome. If you ask my six-year-old Things that glow in the dark are absolutely amazing. They are so much fun. I don't care what age you are, what mood you're in, something starts to glow in the dark, you are in it. You know what else is pretty awesome on its own that doesn't seem to need an improvement is toilet paper. We learned in the COVID pandemic that toilet paper is super awesome and in high demand. Have you ever thought about what would happen if you combine those two things together? Because it would look something like this. And that would just be life-changing. That's what PLCs do for us. See, on our own, we're good. Don't you dare let anybody ever make you feel differently. On our own, we're good. Glow in the dark's good on its own. Toilet paper, I would argue toilet paper is amazing on its own, unless it's the toilet paper that's in our schools, and then it's probably cause for concern. But when you take something that's good, 
and you combine it with something else that's good, you get something that's great, something that's unique, something that's innovative. That's exactly what PLCs give us. So um, real quick, drop in the chat because I am going to share a definition, but as you, you know, what do you think a, a professional learning community is? What does that look like? Um, give me some ideas in the chat. Toilet paper at school is good for stationery. Sure is. <laughs> okay, in the interest of time, I'm gonna keep going. Um, Aaron, let me know if I'm going too fast. Yes, okay, thank you so much, Angela. A group that meets regularly and collaborates, it's teams. Professional learning communities can look like so many different things. It's defined, it's dictionary definition, it's denotation, is a collaborative group of educators that works together to improve student learning by committing to continuous improvement. PLCs are revolutionizing education, but they are hard to find time for, which is why we wanted to bring this PLC to you guys in a way that was hopefully something that you could attend and involve yourself with, because not all of us get to have a PLC at our school. Um, I was lucky enough that I've had department level PLCs before I've had grade level PLCs, but you know, post pandemic world language has gotten kicked to the curb at my school. We're not a priority for those types of things with shared planning. PLCs work because it's true collaboration. It's a true sharing of ideas. You don't come to a PLC meaning to listen to an expert teach you something. Um, and that's something we really believe in with this PLC is this idea that we want to facilitate sharing and, and Heidi and I will always bring ideas because that's who we are. But um, our PLC is not really about listening to me talk about how wonderful I am. It's listening to me share an idea and then you share an idea and then so and so shares an idea and when we come together, then we can really innovate. PLCs work when everybody feels like they belong when everybody feels equal and when everybody knows that they are a valued member of them. And that is something we're really committed to. Um, yes, that, um, oh, Linda, sorry, I got distracted by the chat. <laughs> I gotta not look at that too much. So what are some of the benefits of joining in a PLC? It should be pretty obvious, right? Like friends, usually a benefit of a PLC live and in person if you attend one with me is snacks. I always feed my team. Um, <laughs> That's just who I am. But here's what they do. They help us improve the quality of education overall. As teachers, we get better together. We take glow stick and toilet paper, and we got glow in the dark toilet paper. We are better. So we do so much better things for our students. You can get better access to information. So I don't know about you, and this is where Heidi and I are a fantastic pairing. Heidi loves to research. That woman can read research studies and articles that just make me want to cry or think about them the next time I'm up at three o'clock in the morning watching to catch a smuggler. True story. I get access to that information because Heidi, I know Heidi will read that. So you don't have to consume all of this information on your own. You get access to it from working with others. Number three, honestly, to me should be number one, because I think that's what we need most right now in education is emotional and intellectual support. And that is really the biggest thing. We, we don't want people feeling like they're alone and like they don't know what to do. Sometimes there's too much, it can be overwhelming. We also wanna give you a sense of belonging, someplace that you can go and you can talk. And that's why a lot of times in the PLC, we start all together as one big group. And then we split off into breakout rooms for the French titles and the Spanish titles. We're really hoping to build some participation early on this year and trying to connect people who are teaching similar levels with each other. I connected with somebody from Massachusetts last spring who she and I both teach with Nuestra Historia Dos y Tres together. So I know that she's a great person for me to connect with. And then of course, the biggest thing is it stimulates innovation and creativity. One of the worst things um, for me and my colleagues make fun of me all of this all the time, I'm constantly reinventing the wheel. I'm constantly redoing things that I've already done um, because I, I want to be different. I want it to be fresh. And sometimes I hit a wall with that. And so being in a PLC allows you to avoid that. Our goals are to collaborate in creating a meaningful and engaging activities using the Voces Digital curriculum materials. We do share um, strategies that could work for anything, but 
it is very important to us that we connect people who are using the Nuestra Historia and Notre Histoire, sorry, my French is not as good as my Spanish, um, titles. And then we also want to make sure that people can make meaningful connections. Really, we want to get rid of the teachers who are teaching on an island. We don't want anybody to have to feel like they're, they're by themselves on this journey. Islands sound fun, but they're not when it's you by yourself with no Netflix. And really, we want to connect and support. That's all what it's about. It's about building your connections and building support for each other. So where we've come so far with the PLC is um, we met in April. We created a shared vision. And that's another really big thing is we, we met with the initial members to come together to create that shared mission, which was this kind of one I just shared with you about connection and support. Um, we also did a strategy share, and this was really fun. And this is and this is the heart of the PLC. So one of the things is um, the PLC, you really got to be in it to win it, right? We'll post, um, Heidi and I are finalizing the schedule for this year. But the coolest part about it is Heidi and I will share a strategy based on a, a technique. So this was establishing meaning of target structures, which there's only so many times you can TPR before high school juniors look at you like they, you know, you're worse than their mom. Um, so we then share a strategy, but then we invite those who are with us to share as well. And so that's a big thing. It's important when you come to the PLC to, to know that, yes, of course, come listen. You know, if you're not, if you don't have anything to share, that's fine. We want you there. But also we always want to hear from other people. And then in May, we had a discussion about how, uh, Linda, the PLC is completely free. Um, we had a discussion about how to effectively share resources. There are so many files kind of already floating around in Voces. There's share functions within the, the Voces editor. Um, so we talked as a PLC group, and I have something to share with you all to get some feedback about how our PLC is going to share resources among one another. And then we talked about how to make PQA more engaging with students. So you can see there's some time for whole group, and then there's some time for sharing. Depending on the strategy, and de honestly, depending on the number of participants, we tend to go out into breakout rooms. Okay, um, so looking ahead, here is what we have planned for this year. Um, we tentatively meet the first Tuesdays of the month. Um, I know that we'll have a different date in August just with back to school and everything, um, but stay tuned because once Heidi and I get the dates finalized, they will get pushed out. This is a QR code on your screen. So if you want to scan it real quick, you can actually, it will take you to a Google form that will allow you to sign up for the email list. And again, the PLC is totally free. And I always say sign up for the email list. I don't know about you, but anytime I get something about a webinar, I sign up for it anyways, because then it will email me like 14 times, like in two hours, in one hour, in 10 minutes. It started five minutes ago. You said you would go. Why aren't you there? But it's a great way just to get on our list. We don't record the PLC meetings because, again, it's not as effective. You know, it's not effective to watch a discussion that you weren't necessarily in after the fact. But um, if you open your camera app or your QR scoter app, that will take you to a link to fill out a Google form. We don't do anything else with your information other than put you on the email list. Heidi does do beautiful summaries after the um, meetings as well, so you can kind of get an idea of what we uh, did on that. Some of the topics that are open that we're going to be focusing on this year, and this is by no means a comprehensive list. And we are absolutely, one of the things that we're um, considering adding into our PLC time is something called a parking lot. Um, I learned that from an administrator. I really don't know where it comes from, but somewhere in, you know, towards the end of one meeting, what do you want to put in the parking lot that we can address at the next meeting? So we want to also respond to what people are going through in the time. But topics for this year include creating classroom community. How do you have a great start to the school year, which is going to pair beautifully with the two o'clock session today that Aaron is doing. Games that maximize input. I don't know about you, but I love games with my students. I have a whole toolkit of games. Some of them require a lot of prep. Some of them require no prep. Um, so what are ways that you can play games with our students that still leverage time for input? Because a lot of times games, you, you get distracted and bogged down and then the English happens and we want to avoid that. 
We'll also be talking about reading strategies to effectively engage students and quick and easy assessment strategies. I don't know about you, but assessment is one of those things that makes me cry regularly um, <laughs> just from all of the paperwork. So I we've really adopted some really straightforward assessment strategies. Um, and, and these are things that I've done where I literally forgot I was giving this assessment and was still able to do it on the fly like that, which is always fantastic to have in your pocket. Um, we will be meeting once a month and you can see there's not a, tons of topics for that. So things will kind of grow organically as they do. One of the big things that came out of our work so far is a PLC, um, and I'm going to um, take us to this now. So somebody let me know if this gets hinky for you guys viewing. We kind of decided we wanted a, a shared PLC document, and this is very much in beta. I put it together just to kind of look at an example of what it could look like. And so what we wanted to do... Um, what we wanted to do was give people a place where they could share things when they came into PLC, right? Or also give them something to look at later if maybe they missed a PLC. So the idea for this is that um, there will be one document for the French title, Notre Histoire, and one document for the Spanish Nuestra Historia. On the bottom here, each tab will be a different level of the text. So you can kind of see all of the, the titles for that text together. This first page here gives you an idea of how to, to fill in the next page. Um, so what you would do is if you wanted to add to this document, is you would go from the drop down menu. Um, and I'm working on this. So French teachers, if you see Miss Felix, please let me know because I'm trying so hard, but there are so many more accent marks than in Spanish. Um, so I'm loading it with all of the units so that you can just choose from them. I am a highly, highly visual person. So I color coded all the units so that they're different colors. So that if you know you wanna look for something for unit one, you can just very quickly scan and look for where the red stuff is. Um, there's also, and we'll talk about this more in the PLC, it's kind of hard because it's not populated, but you can create filters. So you can filter just for those materials. So if you wanted to add something, what you would do is click the unit it's from, um, type in the histoire, like what reading or the content that it goes with, the activity title, your description, and then this is something we're still fostering out. It seems like most people that are active in the PLC are not feeling the share ID option. Um, so there you could either do the Voce share ID. And if you don't know more about that, it's probably better to not um, just because it is a little tricky. Um, but here's where like I would paste a Google link so that somebody could see that material. And then the creator name and then the creator email. We want to make sure it's really important to us that if you're going to add something to this, please, please, please give yourself credit. Um, this is something that I feel really, really, really passionately about is I love sharing with other teachers, but I think it's really important and to honor and, and do that with integrity. Um, so that's why we have the creator name and the creator email there so that you can, well, first of all, that you get credit for the beautiful work that you're doing, but also this is how we're going to foster connections asynchronously when we're not together. Um, you'll be able to see, oh, I see so-and-so is, they just put this in, they must be working on that unit, let me shoot them an email. And so that's something else we want to be very transparent about is that maybe you don't want to provide your email because you don't want people just kind of randomly emailing you, so you only want to do your name, that's totally fine too. So we're looking at making this document for the, um, for all of the titles in both textbook series. We're a little short on time, so I won't make you fill out the survey. Um, oh, yay, look at me, I sped through that, I'm so sorry. Um, so contact information, if you are interested and you missed that scan, um, I am Alicia Hines. God, that version of me looks so like, it's the bronzer, it's totally the bronzer. Um, but you can reach me through my school email at hinesa at region-12.org. Uh, I work at Chapag Valley School, which is a nice little 612 school in Connecticut, and I uh, am the World Language Department content coach. So I can also help you kind of navigate some of the administrative sides of things. And then, of course, we have Heidi 
Another picture of her. She's over at New Fairfield High School. And this is her personal email. She prefers that. Heidi Calvert Adele at gmail.com. Um, and I think that's it. I'm so sorry I sped through it a little bit, but that was if anybody awesome. has any questions. I think we want, if you could put some of those links in the chat, um, that would be awesome. And then when is the first one? Is it in September? So Heidi and I have tentatively planned to do one in August, um, okay. I but I have to double check with her. So it may not be until September. Definitely sign up. Like if, you know, if you're interested in going, because we do email you, you know, if you sign up, <laughs> so then you'll get, um, you know, you'll get to plan it. Yes. It's my favorite thing here. I'm going to stop sharing that way. I can grab, um, some of those. This was so well Thanks done though. It's like, even I was like, oh, like, you know, even, I don't know. It's just, you guys are doing some special 